in Portland, Oregon, one of my favorite cities. Yep. And I've actually never been here for what we're about to investigate, which is the Shanghai Tunnels. Yeah, it's a really weird, dark part of Poland's history. Michael has a long history of being a subject matter expert in the Shanghai Tunnels. He teaches at Portland State University um, about this part of history. Shanghai Tunnels was a network where men could be dropped through trapdoors and saloons. Mm -hmm. These were transient workers, mm. loggers, sailors, and they would give them knockout drops, bring them underground to the ship and collect $50 a man blood money. Wow. wow. How many people were used in these tunnels? 3,000 in this heyday. Is that annually or throughout the whole time? Annually. annually. Yeah, these men had no rights. When they're sold to a ship captain, these guys were not conscience, they were knocked out until they crossed the bar into the Pacific. At that time, the captain presented them with papers they had to sign. They didn't sign the papers, they were stowaways, so over, overboard they went. Wow. But also, you, you can't forget the women who were victimized. They grabbed them right off the street. They held them in underground cells to break them. How did nobody in the higher-ups as far as the city goes, how did they not know this was going on? They knew. They made money off of it. And also, these were considered dregs of society. Hmm. Uh, when you really dive into the, to the history of what was happening at that time in Portland, it is horrific. It's a history of Portland that some people don't want us talking about. Hmm. We started the tours 28 years ago. Wow. But now we've got two other areas that we've been working on. The Coot Street Tunnels and the Sixth Avenue tunnels. But the more we renovate, the more paranormal things tend to happen. And generally, the work crews will last an hour, and they leave. They can't handle it. Have you experienced anything in the tunnels yourself? Definitely. Apparitions? I've been scratched, bit. Do you, have you guys collected much evidence? Look at this figure there. Behind him? Behind him. Oh, wow. That's terrifying. Definitely has a weird feeling. It certainly does. There's a nervousness that I have right now. Yeah. And it's bringing here and not knowing what's going to happen. Yeah, it's eerie down here. That's for sure. My views of the tunnel have changed. Last time I was here, it was more of kind of a historical journey. And this is a dive into the paranormal, and it's freaky down there. All right, so we are in the speakeasy section of the Sixth Avenue Tunnel. Do a bit of a sweep. You hear that? That was a growl. Yeah. We've heard that several times. That was really strange. They shut it again. Yeah. It's right here. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't sound, that sounds like it's like in the room. It doesn't sound like it's above us or. No. It was, it was freaky. It either was a growl or one of the loudest stomach rumbles I've ever heard. Let me show you something over here that okay. really, I'm curious what you pick up. This opium den here would have been used for the loggers and the sailors and stuff like that. Wow. This is where we have seen apparitions and people walking. I just started getting a pain on the side of my head. Since I've been down here in the tunnels, I just feel like a heaviness. I just feel, I feel off down here. This is really going, this is really going haywire. There's a really strange feeling down here. And now it's gone. That was weird. The skeptic in me wants to be like, oh no, that's that's the city. Because we're under the sidewalk here, right? Does the trolley cart, I mean that's that's electrically powered. But it's it's quite a ways away. Yeah, I mean that's probably what, 20, 30 feet from the track. More than that. What do you think? Okay. There hasn't been equipment like this down here. Oh really? You're the you're the first. Is there anything in the room with us right now? 
Can you make this light up again if you're in here with us? That was weird. That was really weird. I thought I just saw Hannah standing right there. That was really weird. Jeff, did you possibly just see your first apparition, man? I don't, I don't know. You hear that? Did you hear that? It came from within the room. It was as if it was like in the middle of all of us. And then I saw what I thought was Hannah and it was an apparition. You know when the lights are shining on you, you can't yeah. really, it kind of blows out your vision. You can't yeah. really see that far beyond. And I saw kind of over here in my periphery, it looked like a woman with blonde hair, same height as Hannah. But then when I went back and looked again, it was gone. And then I saw Hannah was stood behind Scott. Do you believe you saw a ghost? I, yeah. Um, I've been doing some pulling of articles. There's some really weird stories about cannibalism and the Shanghaiers. Really? Yeah, the people that were, were Shanghai, if they ran out of food on the boat, they would say, we have to get some long pork. And essentially what that was is one of the Shanghai men would be killed and eaten by the rest of the crew. That's up. It's really up. It's, it, it's some twisted stuff happening. At this point, I think it's best that Jack and I meet up with a psychic medium named Sarah Lemos. I want to make sure you guys are safe. And so one of the things that I do is I go in and I scan the area. So Sarah does remote viewing. It's almost like you project yourself psychically to a different time, space, or location anywhere in the world. So I will tell you that the energies down there are more hypervigilant. Please be careful when you go down. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Um, scratching for sure, knocking. A lot of these spirits are knocking. There was a, a blonde lady that I believe that was murdered and dropped down there. I thought I saw a head with blonde hair. This is Jack's tunnel still or my tunnel? The dead woman is in his. Is there anything negative as far as possibly non-human? Yes. <laughs>